지금 내 핸드폰에 비친 오니 네 모습에 나는 trippin 나는 trippin yellow pinna go so hello everyone welcome back to my channel okay so my channel name now is peace karma okay p e a c e then k a double m a it is not the other karma you know of <laughs> this one is karma it is my native name okay so now like i said welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you how i got this look the hair to be specific <laughs> so i'm gonna be showing you how i made this hair i'm gonna be showing you from the beginning to the end of how i made this hair myself yeah it's actually the first time i made this kind of hair by myself i just wanted to give it a try and i was like okay let me make a video of it so probably someone might learn um, one or two things from it as well so if you want to know how i made this you have to stick around and watch the video from the beginning to the end of it uh -huh. so if you want to see how i made it just stick around watch from the beginning to the end of this video for you to learn one or two things from it okay so let's not um take much of the time without much ado let's go straight to the video okay so at the beginning of this video, um, I had already um, prepped my hair. I had already had it braided um, before now. So um, I couldn't video the part where I braided it. And like you can see, I already started uh, matting the hair as well. So, um, but I'm going to put up a link to the video showing you how I braid my hair. I already made a video before now to that effect. Okay. So now after um, prepping the hair, so the attachments or the extension I'm, I'll be using here is by Darling, Darling um, Passion Twist, pa Darling Passion Twist in color one. That is the black um, color. So this is what I'm going to be using for the hair. I used two packs of this for the completion of this hair, two packs of it. So now, to start, I'm going to be using two strands of the attachment. All through the video, I used two strands alone. Two strands, as you can see there. So I made one side longer and the other side shorter. This is because that short part is what I'm going to be using to wrap the hair. So just watch the way I do it. I hold the attachment with my hair just the way you braid with a normal attachment. So you ensure it is firm then so i'm using two of that i like can see one side is longer and the other side is shorter so the shorter part you use it to braid the hair down why um but here like you can see you ensure um you hold it tight ensure you plait it to be firm like you can see i'm doing there so
like I did there so I did this section by section I already finished one part of the head and I was going to the back so you also do the same way you take the longer part you mat it down you ensure the roots are well matted and it is firm it is not something that is going to pull off later then you begin to mat all the way through the hair remember you are using the longer part to mat the hair so you mat it like that all the way through to the end of the hair <laughs> We take another strand, remember two strands of the hair. We are taking two strands of the hair, then you make one side longer, the other part shorter. Then from the middle of that part you section, you hold it together with your hair. Then you make a braid again with your hair and that attachment. So you ensure that the braid is firm to um, your scalp. When I say firm, it doesn't have to be so tight that your scalp begins to hurt. Okay, so then another thing I want to make mention of that is you need to be um, gentle because this very attachment it has a kind of um, silky feel it is very silky and if care is not taken it's going to um, get all tangled up so you need to be gentle to unravel it you need to be patient you need to be gentle so it doesn't um, turn to a mess I don't know there might be other extensions that are not as silky as this and which will be easy for you to use but this very one I used is very silky and um, it has this uh, slippery feel actually it's slippery that's the word so it's slippery you be careful it doesn't get tangled up because once it's tangled it's gonna be a mess and you wouldn't like um, the end result of it so like you can see I'm using the longer part of the um, attachment to wrap the head down so that's what you're gonna keep doing you wrap it all the way down I really apologize that you can't see um, what I'm doing down there, but I assure you it is what you've seen in the previous um, um, slide in the beginning of this video. When you get to the tip or the end of the hair, you bend it, you take it all the way up and wrap it all the way up. And after wrapping to a certain length of your um, choice, then you take out a tiny strand, like you can see I'm doing there. You take out a tiny strand and knot it to ensure um, it is firm and it doesn't loosen up. Okay, so you ensure it is firm, the knotting is firm. Then after that, you use your scissors or whatever you use to cut and say to take out um, the excesses. Now, I want to tell you guys something. The inspiration behind me um, having this hair like this is that um, I made a crochet hair with the crochet pin. 
and I couldn't do that myself. Someone actually helped me do it, but in taking off the hair, it was a problem for me. I couldn't take it off because it was kind of crocheted in between my hair, and I found it difficult to take off. But with this method, I I find it easy to take off because before um before making this, I actually plated a strand and I loosened it. It was actually easy for me to loosen. So it is something. It's just the way you loosen your hair. You loosen the the the, the wraps. The way you wrap it around the hair, you only losing it and also losing the braids the way you losing a normal braid. So it's to me it's it is not difficult. I, I don't know about um the rest of you. What works for me might really not work for you. But I prefer this um style. I I tried, yeah, I prefer it. So like you can see again, I already plated my hair together with the extension. I ensured the root is firm, then I'm taking the longer part of the strand, I'm taking it to secure my root, I'm wrapping it around my root to ensure it is firm. Remember, do not make it too tight so your scalp doesn't hurt, okay? I love my um, roots not to be too tightened, like you can see, it is not too tight. It is something that it's going to be easy for me to turn my head and I wouldn't feel any pains or um, headaches. So. When you're making yours, ensure it is not too tight to make you uncomfortable. Ensure it doesn't make you uncomfortable, okay? So now, I'm wrapping it all the way down. Like we talked about, you wrap it all the way down. When that particular strand is finished, you take the other longer strand and keep wrapping down. Yeah, you wrap it down. So when you wrap it down, you also do the same thing. You take it up and make sure it is firm and secure such that it doesn't loosen. Um when you doing anything, okay? So here, I'm also taking out the tiny strand, okay, this might not be so tiny, okay, but you take out the tiny strand and you knot it, you tie it, you make sure, you ensure it is firm and secure, okay, you ensure that it is firm and secure so it doesn't loosen up. You know, like I said, this attachment or extension I'm using is very um, slippery, it is something that could loosen if you don't um, knot it like that, so you ensure it is firm. Then after that, you take out the excesses using your scissors. So here is my finished look. That's the finished look. You see? From start to finish. So it is something you can do. You can give it a try. You can give it a try and um, leave your comments in the section below and tell me what you think about so i hope you enjoyed that video you just saw um i hope you learned one or two things as well i hope you learned how to make your hair yourself sometimes you might not be able to um, go to the salon you know it's usually good to learn uh, to do things yourself diys yeah it's really good so i hope you learned one or two things to learn to make your own hair when the opportunity calls for it so if you like this um, video please kindly hit the subscribe button um hit the notification button and also Please leave your comments in the section below. Okay, in the comment section below. Please leave your comments there. I really need to see your comments. I appreciate your comments when you all comment. Okay, please. So I would like to see your comments. So that'll be all for today. See you in my next video. Bye.